Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have seen how to test the delete method we have seen. So this delete method in a component, how to test it, we have seen. Now, so this one, the testing what we have learned up to now. So we have tested, we have tested only the logic in the component. Now it's time for us to test the component along with its template. Right. So along with its templates, so we need to test the component. Then we can so we can test the way we can complete this whole testing of this entire component right so that is nothing but in we can say it as an integration testing why because we are not testing the single unit we are testing the two units that is one template and also the logic so that is nothing but a shallow integration test let's try to do that one so before proceeding to this one component let's try to have a template code so here we are having the post component .ts. so here we are having here the post data now we need to have a template let's create a, let's write some code here template so right now we are having the post right so for post we need to show each post details so how we can show that one so here i am writing view ng for so post of post and here so we need to have a component so here i will be adding another component so nothing but so it's showing that each single post so let's try to have let's try to create a component here so I am opening here the terminal. So here I have opened the terminal. So in this terminal, now what I am trying to do is I am trying to create a, create a single post component. So here ng gc generate component components single post in the components folder I am creating and I am skipping the test for this one. So now let's try to create a component. So let it create. Now here what I will try to do is so let's let it create. So here the post component has been created in the component. So here is the post component and in here what I will try to do is I will try to add app post. So each single post so will be displayed by this component app post. Now let's go to this app post. What is this app post? So this is the post component single post component. Now this post component will receive the post data as the input parameter. Okay. So it should be something like post or null or something like this you can keep by default it could be a null that's it so now here i am using the input let's import the input now that's it so we have a post component and let's go to this here so here what i will try to do is so one do and if post component is present if post component is present if post sorry if post is present now i will have a anchor link so which will display the post dot title okay so it will display post dot title okay now here so i need to add a router link for this one so router link so router sorry router here is this one router link okay this one only right so router link or otherwise we can use router link is equal to here i will write it should take detail and another one is the post dot id right so it should take something like this now another thing what we need to do so here what we are having so here it is taking from the post everything is perfect now i will have another one another button okay so it will delete the post so we are having a button in this one and when this button is clicked okay so here i will do on delete post so let's take the event also so i am taking the event also on delete post let's try to have this delete post method so here let's go here on delete post so event it will take and here event so of type event let's import this event okay and now here what i will try to do so event dot stop propagation okay so now here we are having a post component.html so now we need to send the post as an input property here we are sending the post as an sorry as an input property and now in this post component so in this parent post component.ts we are having a method delete post okay so that means deleting the particular post now Whenever the user clicks on the button which is present in the app post, whenever the user clicks on this button, button means nothing but this delete post button. 
whenever the uh, user clicks on this one so what we need to do here let's remove this double equal to, yeah so whenever the user clicks on this button delete post so we need to delete the post so that the parent component method delete method this one need to be executed so what we need to do we need to throw throw an output event emitter so how we can throw here so whenever a delete method is called okay so you need to call delete of particular post post is nothing but here we are passing over through the loop right so we are passing this delete post so this method will be executed this method will be executed so now which we are so in, in order to invoke this delete button what i need to do i need to emit the delete event so how can i emit this delete event whenever the user clicks on the button on delete post so i will i need to emit an event so now let's try to add it here output emitter at the rate output <coughs> so we are having a delete is equal to new event emitter event emitter should be imported from the angular core so we we will not send anything so let's make it as a void so here on delete post whenever the clear whenever the user clicks on delete post so this dot delete dot emit okay that's it so whenever the user clicks on the delete the this dot delete dot emit now the the post so whenever the user clicks on this button so automatically this method will be executed and this delete event will be emitted so where uh, delete when this delete event is emitted so here the particular delete po delete method will be called by taking the post up of that particular post so now when it when it went to the particular post so what will happen here the delete method will be executed so this is the code what we have written now what what we need to do is so this is our post component so here this is our post component so if we try to see this is our post component this has a simple template which has a router link a simple button and anchor link and a div that's it so this is the simple template and we are having the atta attached logic to this one where it is having two properties input and output property so there is no implementation of constructor or anything so you if you want you can remove this one all so you can also remove this implements on it and all the things also so this is a simple component we are having and now we now we need to uh, in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to write the unit test for this post.component.ts which is very simple which is very simple component and we'll try to write the shallow integration test that means doing the unit test combining with the component with along with this template so we'll test along with this template so both the things we'll try to see it so hope you understood about this uh, <coughs> post component what we had it we had it simple only so we have created a new post component and we have looped over the post thing and we are passing each post to this component so that it will display each post and we'll have a button delete post button whenever we click on the delete post button we'll delete that particular post that's it so in the next video we'll do the testing of this post.component.ts along with its html uh, along with this html template so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me sub by subscribing to my channel thank you